Okay, this is the video for exercise two. So just gonna check my units, make sure I'm in the right format. So the two decimal places, millimeters for this one. And again, just gonna make sure I'm in my construction layer. So now when I do my grid, using my X line, okay, I can just use the shift to author, lock it to 90 degrees, and across the horizontal 180. Again, I'm making a third angle projection here, so I'm going to start with my top view. Um, so my first offset is going to be 32. Okay, so escape space, and then we're going to do 114, and I'm going to finish that off with another 32. Like so. And then I've got a um, 64 wide, so I'm going to, I'm going to put one in at 64 wide. Like so. I'm just going to move my image up ever so slightly. So, what I'm going to do is actually split this in half. So I'm going to half my drawing, work on the left side, and I'm going to mirror it across the right. So, what I know obviously here is, is I'm going to put an offset now of 32 in to bridge my halfway point which is there, and that's my first location for the circle. So I'm just going to put that circle in, in this location here, and that's going to be a 22 diameter, so 11 radius. <coughs> I'm going to put in then the 32 as well, so that's sort of half that area. Next up, I'm going to have to work from the center. Okay, so I'm going to have to basically find the center. So what I'm going to do then is do the offset again. 114 backslash 2 will give me the center between 114 lines, so there to there. And then now what I can do is then work out it's 32 because half is 64. So now I've put that edge in here. So I'm working up to 64 on the, on the top. From that top value, we have a little... Um, gap of 13, so I'm going to drop that one down, and 13 across, so I'm going to drop that one across. Remembering that this one is going to be my center line for the whole way, so I'm just going to color that a different color for visual purposes. Now I need to basically come in and draw these lines in. It's up. I'm not going to bridge it across at this stage. So that's basically half my shape. Now I'm just going to turn off the construction layer. I'm just going to do a bit of tidying up and trimming. So I'm going to use TR for trim. Um, I just need to get rid of anything that isn't actually on my drawing, like that piece there. So now when I come back to my construction line, I can then turn around and look at the component and then work out that it is actually fine. So I'm just going to switch this into a different layer so I can turn my construction layers off. Like so. So now we can see that actually this part is this top part which goes into the 64 and there's a gap then of 38. So what we're going to do is mirror this. We can mirror around this middle section here and then join in the other snap point there. Erase the original source and kind of hit no. What I'm going to do now is just check 38. That's correct. So we have 38, 38. Another quick dimension check, 64. And what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to put these in my dimension layer and then just turn that off so they're not in my way. So that's that first view done. I'm just going to then end up by just closing off the line because you can see that line on the front there. So I'm just going to drag this one down to there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is turn my construction layer back on. Going to do an offset of let's do um, 64 because I can use that for my next command. So I'm doing 64 down, 64 across, and then it's 64 across again for that section. And this time we have to work backwards, it's 45 plus 19. So 45 going down and then 19. 
like so. So you can kind of see that the this image will sit in here and this side view sits in just over here. So again I'm going to work on um, populating half at this stage. So I'm going to run across the bottom. Okay, come up, come to this point, across, back down. Now at this stage there's another offset of 13 which comes from the bottom edge which is there. So actually this line comes down to there, this line then comes down a little bit further. You can actually see that I can edit these lines, they're not fixed. Again, I'm going to use the mirror tool, mirror these ones around the bottom edge like so. And that's that bit of my drawing done. Last one to do is just to literally then let's just draw the lines for the outer piece. So again, everything's going to be hidden more or less now at this stage. So we've got that part, and then we just need to offset 13 just to do the back side. And on the hidden layer, I've got a hidden zone. So from here to there, and that just indicates this bottom bottom groove. Last thing to do is like the other exercises that you just need to offset this line to make my um, holes. So again, I'm just going to put a center line in on this one. Okay, so my hidden layer is now there. Do you think I missed that one? So I'll zoom in, hit the snap point, pick it up, move it back across, do a copy. Copy from my center. And I can come across to this line here. And I can pick up that line there also. So I can kind of get a two in one. Now I just turn off my construction. Okay, that's the the visual side now. Last thing to do is just fill in any gaps that I've missed, like so. And that's then the next third angle projection of this drawing. And again, next thing I would do then is go off and dimension and work through. So again, just going to tap my vision layer, and I can put any sort of center lines I wanted to um, in under centers. So I could come in, annotate, center mark, punch. Punch and align. Like so. So, yeah, that's how we complete exercise two. So, next thing to do, we go up and save.